What's up, everybody? Chris George, Battlegrounds, Warp Charge, Warp Charge Gaming in general. We're here to do a battle report. We are playing some Kill Team Commanders today. Yeah. Uh, have you gotten to play Commander yet? No. Not even once? Not even oh, once. Man, yeah, it's been a minute since we've gotten Chris back in the studio. Glad to have you here, buddy. It's been a little bit of a break from the hobby. Actually, like, the games I played against Connor yesterday were the first games I've played probably in at least, like, a month and a half. Yeah. Glad which to, for me is... Glad to have you rolling dice again. It's, exactly. As a, I consider myself a 40K doctor, and the doctor says that you're a healthier man. When you're rolling dice. <laughs> well, uh, hopefully I'm here to give the doctor his medicine on, on the commander field. Uh, we, we're both doing something kind of wonky today. Uh, yes, I prescribe death and destruction and the grim dark future. Um, it, it's going to be, uh, we, we're going to try something, you know, well, commander fresh for you, we're uh, trying something that was a, um, a theory situation. Yeah, so I think when commanders first came out, uh, something that I kind of joked around with George is that the broodlord is like, almost inaccessible in points. Uh, it's, you know, it's like, you'd have to run almost like a very elite team. And I came to George's house today and I was like, hey, I'm gonna play something kind of weird. I'm gonna play something kind of elite. And George is like, oh yeah, me too. I'm gonna do something kind of elite. <laughs> we practically mirrored one another. We practically made the same army, I just mean, different armies. Yeah. But we're, we're gonna see what happens, and this is probably not gonna be our only game of kill team today. Oh, um, absolutely, yeah. No, it's, <laughs> it's gonna be really interesting. We took um, we took the minimum. It was when we had to do our list designs, we actually wanted to even take less than yeah. the match play minimum. So. Yeah, uh, Battle Scribe reminded me. It was like, hey, uh, you can't have two models in your commander list. Yeah. I was like, what? What do you mean? It's, it's interesting because uh, some of the commanders, when you take them up to level four or you give them up, They break 200 points. You, you can get two or break 200. Yeah, I mean, I, the, the way I wanted to run the Broodlord, he would have been 196, so a single Hormagant would have taken him. Now, my mind had gone to, I felt like I required myself to take two models because I know that it uh, specifies that a leader is required to take. Yep. So I put my myself at two, I was like, cool, I'm going to go, but no, a match play requires three plus. It's a three to 20 model uh, roster that hits the table. Yeah. So the I actually only took three models with Grey Knights, and you brought it with point squeezed up into four. We're both going to be yeah. level three specialists. So that's going to be really interesting. We're going to play uh, Recover Intelligence. There's five objectives on the board, and there's going to be on each long edge in the center of the board will be a uh, little six-inch equilateral triangles, and that'll be our deployment zones. So it'll be about a six-inch gap from the center. Uh, you'll see the board in a second, but it's basically an X shape of objectives. The objectives that are closest to your deployment zone are going to be worth one point. The ones that are farthest away in your enemy deployment zone will be worth two apiece, and then the one in the center will be worth three, and that can all stack. So if you had all the objectives, two, four, five, six, nine points. None of us have enough models to do that today, George. We do not. So that's uh, not going to come into play, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. I apologize if you got your hopes up. That's true. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but if, if we were running bigger, more substantial armies, yeah. I mean, I can almost do it. Uh, that yeah, that we both have the option to take more. Now, Grey Knights can't get much more than five models, but yeah, we'll see how that goes. So yeah, we're gonna we'll show you guys the armies here, and uh, let's get into the action. Ba -da -ba -ba. Here we go. So excuse the shaky cam, guys. We're live, obviously live on Twitch. If you're watching it on YouTube, then you missed us live. But uh, I hope you enjoy the back end show here, and uh, catch us on Twitch live any any time of the week. We do it live there first, and then come to the old. Uh, YouTube. I feel like just panning in on this scene, you miss so much because you can see when you're doing the shaky cam, there's so much going on in the background of the studio. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. So here you see the uh, the face off that's about to go down. It's going to be as modeled here. This is my leader model with his warding staff, a Justicar, if you will. Uh, they all are going to have storm bolters, which are rapid fire at 24 inches. But it'll be four shots because it's two shot rapid fire profile. So it goes up to four shots. Strength four minus one, I believe. I'm live on Twitch with you guys. What up? What up, James? Welcome, welcome. Great. Got Chris in the studio. Got a beautiful painted uh, little kill team here going against my silver tide. Uh, you know, gray knights, they are gray indeed, but they look good. And uh, they go to the, look at those bases. And so the, uh, the buddy here, he's just the regular gray knight. He's coming as the backup, the support. He's got his halberd just as modeled here. And then you can see the epic pose here of the commander with his nemesis sword into the, uh, he's got some sort of dead foe there. It looks to be a demon potentially. Uh, yeah, I think it's a plague bearer head or something. It's practically a tyranid at this point. <laughs> uh, so him with his nemesis sword, we were just, you know, we were talking. We were both took fortitude and we both took the same 
uh, step of abilities. Yeah, we, we literally mirrored all of each other's defensive abilities. So the, where we where we uh, changed the only difference between our two lists as far as the specialisms is the uh, upgrades that we took. Yeah, I ended up taking. He took uh, Destined for Fate. I think Destined is the term. for Fate. It's that's the one where you can get basically a six up field no painting against mortals. Um, and then if you already have a feel no pain, then it can give you reroll once. Yes, um, and I already have a six up feel no pain that rerolls once, so that's yep. nice. Yep. So um, I and I took uh, D three command points before the game. So we begins. both took plus one toughness. Yep. We both we, took the half wounds thing, rounded up. Dam so damage is reduced by half. Yep. And then of course the the feel no pain in general. Mm -hmm. um, so instead of me rerolling one feel no pains against more, uh, mortals. I decided to go ahead and take the D3 command points before the game begins. There is, uh, but the different one thing that was interesting when making the, the list is that my uh, commander, he is his his generated powers are dictated. Yeah, he can't pick. Unlike other uh, factions where their psychers get to choose who they want, he has to take his uh, Iron Helm. I believe it's what it was called. I'll double check, but. Uh, it's right here. He had to take hammer hand, so he can uh, any. I can give a friendly model within eight inches uh, add one to the wound rolls uh, for their until the next psychic phase. I conversely have picked the psychic power iron arm, which I self cast or can cast on a friendly unit, and it gives plus two strength and toughness, which makes my brood lord with all the defensive upgrades toughness eight. Which is something in kill teams that is rarely seen. I've never seen it. Yeah, so that's pretty crazy. We both, by taking level 3 fortitude, got up to an additional toughness. Mm -hmm. So I actually have a toughness like 5 commander there. Um, but his guy with iron arm, he go, you go up to toughness 6. Toughness 6 and then and plus 2 from the psychic power. Which is gross. So my nemesis sword here on the commander, it's only strength 4. Now he can, the, the brotherhood champion, the commander there, he has in each fight phase, he is the perfect warrior and he must choose a fighting stance. Whether that'll be the sword strike stance or the blade shield stance. Uh, one, the sword strike stance will give me add one to wound rolls. While the shield stance lets me add one of my saving throws. Now I'm already a two up with a four up invuln, so I can take myself to a three up invuln. Or a, uh, a minus one AP weapon, I'd still be a two up save. Uh, which is gross, or I can be plus one to wound, and with only a strength four weapon, uh, even with his toughness eight, I'm already going to be sixes to wound. So I'd be just mm -hmm. fives with a plus one. Then if I throw hammer hand on myself, I can give myself an additional plus one to you wound. You could also use that stratagem, because there are also stratagems in play. You could give yourself stuff like reroll to hit and wound, um, which yeah. help, but yeah, the it's core... still... The, the big challenge, I think, is you have a better invulnerable save, I have a much better toughness. Yeah, when the power goes off, there's a, it's going to be a little bit of psychic warfare because mm -hmm. be, there'll be a lot of denying going on. Um, the there, the core commander tactics will be pretty relevant uh, because lookout, sir, we can toss wounds over yeah. to the other models. There's heroic intervention, but particularly the dual honor, uh, dual of honor, you can choose to spend one command point, and when you're fighting against the commander versus commander, you can make it to reroll all your hits into wounds. So I think that'll be pretty critical. Uh, be, being that you can, luckily that's a uh, command point situation, so I can do my hammer hand, my fighter stance, and get plus two to wound, plus make it reroll to wounds. And that would be a decent uh, go against on that toughness eight. But that'll be an interesting come to play. There'll be a lot of psychic warfare going on. Uh, the warding staff does have plus two, and the halberd has plus one, so he'll be strength six, and he'll be strength five with their weapons. And they do do multi damage in combat. Storm boulders will help me pick off the. Uh, the screen there so that's the story man that was a lot of uh, a lot of air being talked there but what do you on got? my war gear yeah. the hormigons are standard they are just sighting talons um you know the two attack hero ones to hit um the gene stealer has acid maul so besides his standard three attacks he can also instead of using the rending claws which are normally minus one and sixes are minus four um he could instead just do a neg three weapon which is safe. Okay. <laughs> um, and uh, then there's the Broodlord, who has Monstrous Rending Claws, one of my favorite weapons in the game, both in 40k and Kill Team. So right off the bat, it's a D3 damage weapon. It's also AP Neg 3. Um, and rolls... Oh, first of all, it rerolls to wounds automatically. And rolls of 6 to wound are instead not just AP Neg 6 instead of Neg 3, but are fixed 3 damage. God... That's he murderous. is a monstrosity in kill teams. How many wounds does he have? 
Uh, I think... Four? Um, I think six with his... Oh, uh, no. I, either five or six. Well, now I'm not... I don't feel bad at all. Six wounds. I don't feel bad at all for his point cost. The fact that you can <laughs> iron arm him up to toughness ten... Or, or eight, eight. That feels like ten. <laughs> <laughs> That's really high. And... Um, and one thing to remember is that I choose Iron Arm. I could choose Catalyst to give him a five up, feel no pain, rerolling ones instead if I wanted. Dude, that's gross. He is. Uh, he's he's beefy. He's scary. I mean, well, that's uh, that's ridiculous. Chris <laughs> is using cheat codes, as James said. Um, we are going over to the board now. Excuse me while I arrange the camera for you, friends. Here we are live, as I mentioned. <laughs> All right, so here's a look at the board today. The green crates that you can see in these proximity areas here, they are the objectives. If we need to make a close call, then we're just gonna simply place an objective over the center to double check our, our range. Uh, scoring is two inches from the center. This will be a four turn game with variable game length, so we will roll off to see if it goes to five or six. And we are ready to decide our situation. These center points here will be little six inch equilaterals. So, you don't need to swarm the board yet, buddy. Yeah, it looks like he's uh, kind of pointing. He's like Babe Ruth in, in baseball, like pointing to the... Stealing some bases. Pointing to the bleachers. Uh, so let's roll for picking our sides, Chris. Oh, I get an eight. What am I going to roll? I take your eight and I raise you a seven. Hmm. Uh, that would mean I'll pick my side. Um, so, I will take... I feel like I like the, I don't think there's going to be a lot of cover no matter how you look at the situation, or a lot of uh, staying back. Yeah, I'll take, uh, I'll take this side right here. Okay, so yeah, because I chose my side, I think I also need to place the first model. I always forget this. I never, I'm too, always too lazy to check the book. So whatever, I'll place the first model. Okay. And we'll take my regular friend and uh, go ahead and make a quick mark of the deployment zone for us here. Oh, man, I had my cheating ruler in this box. I think I left it at Connor's place. Got some, some cheaty rulers here. Just guesstimating the center. Cool. Rocky one. Here's for your uh, command points. Much obliged command point counter all right cool there's a uh, not precisely measured deployment zone situation it's fine all right cool so uh first model we've got three models right first dude is gonna be right here what kind of guns do you have just storm bolters 24 yep the broodlord is so tall <laughs> get some tunes on for you friends I place All a right. Hormy Gaunt. Oh, wow, I'm getting some blinky cans. Oh yeah, not only is the Broodlord a monstrosity in kill teams, but he's also making my friendly Gene Stealer hit on twos instead of threes. If he's within six. Um, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Just cause. Fine. Twos instead of threes. Cause he's a Broodlord, which makes him a daddy Gene Stealer. Threes is already good. He could, indeed. Sorry, just getting the music happening. There we are. All right, so uh, my second model is going to be my Justicar. So who's your commander? That's the guy with the sword and the okay. demon head. Justicar is going to go down right here. He has a storm bolter as well. Everybody's storm bolter. Oh, okay. And of course, we're all psychers. Placed. All right. We're behind the rock. We'll do our commander right in the centaur. There's a centaur now? <laughs> yes. <laughs> then there he is. I'm going to place my commander. All right. Big Papa. All right. And I guess i got to place my last model, huh? Yeah. Placed. Okay. Well, it looks like we're uh, all out there. I'm going to go ahead and roll D3 additional command points before the game begins. Getting only one, sadly. So, how does the veteran thing work? 
So before uh, we begin, you can do a move. So yeah, you can uh, you can spend a command point now and do a move if you like. Okay, I'd like to do that. All right, so he's gonna do his veteran move before so things get going. That'll drop me from two command points to one, is my understanding? Yes, it, yep. Okay, um, cool. Let me borrow a tape measure of some sort, if I might. Uh, ruler, right here. He's gonna move. Is eight. Could get over there. And can I advance with that as well or no? Yes. But if you won't if you advance now, I don't believe you'll be able to charge later. Yes. So I'll roll a D6 for that. Wait, do I do that in the shooting phase instead? Like is that a run move thing now or no no, you advance the movement. Okay. Ugh, I only get a one. Oh, that's sad. Which I don't think will get me where I want. Sorry if I was eating the mic there, friends, uh, maneuvering around. Let's see, would that put me within two of that objective? That's my only concern. I think it would. Even so. Do you think, would you be able to verify? Well, I guess I'll just check 11 right here. That makes my sense. Um... Remember, you're gonna get to move again. Oh yeah. You don't even have to advance if you don't want. You're right. Because this is a move before the game begins, and that's where if you don't advance now, you can still do a charge. Yeah, I'll just move. I'll just move him here then. That makes sense. Cool. All right, wonderful. I appreciate the coaching, George. Yeah, no worries. You're, you're fresh to uh, both kill team and commander. So let's go. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the dice and have this epic scene come to life here. We're going down. So three command points to one command point starting the first round. We're going to go ahead and check out the initiative situation. I'm going to get a three. Don't you get a plus one? Nope. There's no plus one. You I get, get a, six. a six. So initiative to the Tyranids for round one. So I get to choose to move and or ready and whatnot first. Yes. Yeah. Usually I enjoy going second for on the first turn more than any other turn. Yeah, I mean, because you can back out of charges and stuff. What's your movement like? Six? Uh, six, yeah. Okay, oh, I'm bumping that objective. But he's there. He's going to move up here. He's going to move up here. And I'm going to advance with this Hormagon. One. Okay, little guys. Let's see if I'm within 11 of this objective. Oh, absolutely. I don't even need to go that far. And I want to place myself. Yeah, I'm going to have to scour that book a little bit to see if there's any workarounds about having the uh, minimum of three still with Commander going on. I am all moved. Okay, cool. So movement for the Grey Knights now. I want to be within rapid fire range for sure, and I need this objective. So I'm going to walk about over here. Go get within range of the objective, get some obscurity, and get within 12. And then I'm gonna do the same thing and go our six right here. The thing I don't like is there's a decent charge range for you on your next turn. Looks like I'm just out, just out of nine, so you would be a nine charge. Now, do you have rerolls or plus ones to your charge or anything? I have a reroll charge. You have a reroll charge. Yeah. Double check on both the Brood Lord and the Gene Stealer. Because normally they could advance and charge, but they changed the rule and kill teams to being reroll charge. I'm just gonna have to take the risk. Luckily, he's just my regular Grey Knight. Uh, he's not as valuable as the others. I need to gun down this gaunt that he has on this objective. So uh, I was thinking about advancing around here to score the objective from the backside, but losing that uh, those shots that I need there. And honestly, you're so short. I don't know if I can even get see him. Yeah. I know. I was thinking about that. He's like, they're, they're so small that it's difficult to even see. 
Yeah, honestly, you're perfectly hidden. I'm just your talent, which doesn't count. So with that in mind, I am going to advance. No problem. So I'm going to do an advance roll with that guy. Get a five. Nice. That's a beautiful thing. Means he's getting wherever he's going. Yeah, it gives me more flexibility to stay <laughs> out of your charge range is what I wanted. So six puts me here, and then five, three, two. There we go. Now we're nice distance. Um, can we see you now? Yes, I believe I can. Oh, but I advanced, so I can't shoot now. But I can psychic. So that's a good situation. All right. So now the bad thing is that you're, if I can remove you from these objectives, and you can, then you'll only be one point above me because I'll get two points and you'll get three. So that's that's what I'm thinking about right now, friends at home. He's put the Broodlord so tall that at least I can get some pop shots on him. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure I'm within rapid fire range, which I am. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take a turn of playing it safe. I need to uh, lower him down a bit before we get going. Now, how's your gun situation? Any? No. None, no guns at all, huh? Zero. So I get to pop shot them away, so keeping this distance right now seems like a good idea. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and it looks like we're going into the psychic phase. I'm readying this model. Okay. So you have the initiative, so you'll begin the psychic. Okay. Um, <sighs> do I want to cast my offensive power while I'm in range or not? What is the other power? Cybolt. Cybolt. Uh, it's just like a smite. It does just one damage unless you get an 11. But hey, a mortal wound is a kill besides the uh, Multi commander. Multi-wound guys, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I think the commander is the only one I have range on, on the Broodlord. Uh-huh. Because you made sure you had rapid fire range. Oh yeah, well it's an 18 inch power for you. Oh, is it 18? For, for me it's 12, because I'm Grey Knights and it's reduced. Oh, I thought it was 12 for everybody. No, it's 18 for you. So I could try to kill it's him. It's just closest. Oh, it, it is close. So just, it would, it would yeah. have to be the commander then. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna iron arm myself then. Um, they're me... they're, I do have some shots on you, so sensible. Um, charge value of seven. Oh no. Now you can reroll both the dice with a command point. Hmm. And yeah. Can... Okay. So he's going down to zero. He gets a nine. I'm gonna try to deny that. Oops. And I roll seven, so he gets it off. Um, so until the start of my next psychic phase, you have plus two to just like your strength and toughness. Yeah, so you're big baddie toughness eight right now. That also makes me strength seven. Due to his level three fortitude. Uh, okay, well I do know you won't get to fight without casting that again at this point. So I always have that, but you do have the toughness going on. Um, okay, so uh, I will cast I'm gonna cast the uh, Cybolt from okay. the Psyker over here. To the Hormigaunt. Looking to get that Hormigaunt. So due to the 11 inch advance, that's what was able to get me that line of sight I required. It was a gamble. And now I need a five. I get a six. Okay. Uh, you're out of command points, but you definitely could get to deny this. Absolutely. I'm considering re-rolling right now just because I would like a higher number. I have one deny. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and take a. I, I want to. I want to make sure I get this off. You're even though this, this is a gamble, anyways. But yeah, I'm gonna spend one, go down to two. Should get at least one point higher. You man. know, I probably should be saving this for the freaking uh, out of action roll. It's not a bad one. You know. <sighs> Are you rolling or not? I'm gonna take the gamble. Let you go ahead and let you deny. Okay. I'm not spending it. I denied definitely it. denied it. If I would have rerolled. Oh, we got still just a deny. Okay, cool. That's all right. I got three command points still. All right, so that did not go off. And we are now ready to go into the shooting phase, starting with ready models. You don't have any ready, right? Correct. I don't have any guns. Oh, yeah, no guns. So just, so, this is your phase, sir. Um, so something that was clarified in the FAQ, um, you can opt to uh, uh, pass with your ready model so that you can uh, put him into the normal rotation. rotation. Without forcing him to shoot first. Yes because I don't want him to shoot right yet, 
because I first wanted to and actually... And knowing that they don't have any guns, you don't have to wait to see how anything resolves. You could be like, well, I don't want to be forced to check his gun first. Yep, he's ready, but I don't have to shoot it yeah. now. Cool. So I'm going to wait till the not ready for action phase to shoot him because I'd like to shoot my Justicar first into the guy on the objective. I need to make sure that happens. Solid. And uh, that are going to be four shots to put myself in rapid fire range. So you're shooting at the Broodlord? No, I'm shooting at this fellow. Oh, right. Well. Yeah with this model over here, okay. the Justica, and uh, he is going to be looking for threes typically, but you're obscured, so that'll be fours, and uh, we get zero fours, Ooh. that was a pathetic roll, and that is why I wanted to wait, but uh, we're going to go ahead and spend one command point to try to get a reroll here, single reroll, re -roll. just one, I got a four plus, okay, so toughness three, strength four, need a three, Okay, so I got a wound. Now you get a six Armor up save. save. Yep. Six up t-shirt save. Okay. That is not a six up save. Right, but I need a five to kill you because you're within an inch of the obscurity. Oh, just a flesh wound. All right, one flesh wound to Mr. Hormigon. And due to already doing a reroll in the shooting phase here, I can't reroll the injury roll. So I'm gonna go have to. I'm gonna go ahead and have to shoot my commander into your fellow there because I need to remove you from these objectives. You're already going to get a big, a good point lead on me. Unfortunately, you're out of rapid fire though, but I'd rather do this and shoot into toughness eight. So Dude, shoot into toughness eight. Two shots, looking for fives to hit because obscurity and long range. No hits. It's a, not a good scene right now. Not a good scene. It's going to be a great turn one scoring for the Tyranids. All right, so um, now it is time to go into the scoring. And that's going to be a five points for the Tyranids and two points for the Grey Knights. Indeed. Okay. It is time for round two initiative. The Grey Knights get a seven and a three. All right. The Grey Knights get first move. Action to Grey Knights. So. I'm gonna put myself within two inches of the center of the objective. Okay, just hop over to the other side. Yep, we're getting a little bit of forward movement. And double checking before I move away. So, uh, right now I'm be a, I'm, I'm gonna put myself, I don't know if I can do both of these things. This big rock here is making it tricky. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm gonna keep myself within a 10 inch charge range of you. <clears throat> 10 inch re-rollable charge. So I'm, I'm within 11. Or no, I'm I'm uh, I'm within 10. Yeah, you need a 10. Okay. So you're uh, you're over 10, but less than 11. Yeah, exactly. Um, I guess what I'll do now is start. I'm gonna like to have the gun, but again, I need this movement. I need to kind of back this guy up over here. I can't dilly-dally too long into uh, engaging with you. I need to use the value of my combat as well. I'm happy to score five points. Yeah, that's gross. <laughs> that'll, that'll win you the game for sure. Just by sitting there being beefy. I am also a beef stick, so I should utilize that fact. I don't necessarily want to go head to head with your commander, but I mean, like, why not? Kind of too. I mean, we paid all our points for him. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, I think I'm gonna. I can't have you do that again. And so I'm going, I'm going six within range of the objective, and I'm actually gonna abandon this objective and advance to that one. Ah. Uh, also, I go up to four command points at this point, and you are at two. Yep. Um, so advancing with the Justicar. Getting a six. So he definitely heads over there to back up. Big money. The commander. So the leader and the commander have joined forces to uh, say to welcome the charge from the Broodlord and Gene Sealer. Uh, that is the movement. Go ahead for the Tyranids. Oh, man. Now you got some decisions to make. Oh, this, man. This is like whenever you're playing chess and someone gives you an opening like, hey, you can take my queen, but I'll take yours too. Oh, man. <laughs> this is so exciting. Let's see who's going to play handicap. All right. The Horma, this Hormagant is declaring a charge on your commander and this Grey Knight. 
I don't like your attitude, Chris. And he's out of line of sight, so he, no guns. I think you're out of line, sir. <laughs> well, fine, make your charge. Seven, that, I don't you. think I'll have it. You don't think so? Oh, it's your holding it's, on? It's this guy. Oh, gotcha. I was hoping to have him, I mean, I guess I don't really have to worry about Overwatch anyway. Do I have to just move closer to the enemy? You have to go as uh, straight, as close as possible, the straight line kind of deal. And it's all distance or no distance, right? Yep, all or no. I'll stay where I'm at then. All right. All right. The Gene Stealer here is going to... <coughs> it's coming in tune, James. This Hormagon is actually going to charge both of them as well. He's going to try the same thing. He gets an eight. That's not bad. We'll see where that takes me. I think that'll actually get me where I need to go. Because he's here. Oh, yeah, it'll get me there. Especially with their six inch pylon. He's there. So that was just a that charge was a, move. And it was successful? Yep. Okay. And I was out of line of sight, so there was no guns. Okay. Um, now the Gene Steel is going to charge both of them as well. I have a re rollable charge here. I get a 10 though. Yep. That should be sufficient. Are you hopping right over and engaging both or? Um, I'm going to move in such a manner that I only have this guy. Okay. And now, well actually, mm, no, I'll be within six, yeah. That'll be fine, that'll be fine. And now the Broodlord is gonna charge. He wants your commander. Oh. This is where the game could get very dark very quick. I get an eight, but I do have a re-rollable charge, I, I think. You got that. Yeah. It's only two inches to go over the thing, and then you can just jump right off. Roar. And that is my movement phase. Everything tried to charge. Looks like we have some serious business. I'm gonna, for the sake of thematics, I'll just move the objective so we can see a little bit what's going on. I'm gonna turn and face our foes here. Okay, you dirty rat. <laughs> Looks like we have some Xeno scum engaging the Imperium. The might of man. Um, okay. So that is the end of the movement. And we are ready for the psychic phase, starting with initiative, which belongs to me. Uh, I am going to have my Justicar uh, Cybolt the Gene Stealer. Okay. Okay. So, here we go. Get a nine. Beat that. The only power I can cast, so Actually, this is means that I'm not doing my plus one to wound power. Yeah. You know. Do they, you don't do that, that's not that's a psychic power specifically? Yeah. Don't you have a stance or something you have to pick? I, that's another choice as well. Okay. Yeah. A nine, nine. So doesn't beat it. Mm, I could command reroll. You could. I don't want to lose my chain stealer. Yeah, that'd be a four to kill and I got a reroll on it still. And I have to reroll both. Yep. That's what makes this not as attractive, honestly. Mm -hmm. um. <sighs> Going for a reroll? No, okay. So now I need a four to kill on the injury table. This is a big one. There it is. That is nothing gonna, I can do. He's really gonna take it with his mind bullet to the face. <laughs> the Justicar is now no longer engaged. Would that, is that accurate? Uh, yeah, I guess, actually, because that's the way I placed them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I, he hasn't piled in yet. Sure, but at the current moment, I actually am not engaged. So Correct. if, I, if I, there was anything to shoot, I could shoot, but I don't think there is anything. Correct. Right. Um, but cool. Uh, now, that also means, though, that, like, yeah, I hope that you engage. I want to fight. You know, I'm actually, oh, but, you know, I think there's uh, some leader tactics that might be able to pull me into that. We'll have to take a look. Uh, because we are now into the shooting phase and there actually is no guns to be considerate of because everything is engaged. Let me take a quick look. Would you, from your angle, think that, can you see this guy to that guy? Zoom out here. I can see his halberd for sure. Uh, halberd wouldn't count for line of sight. You can't see his uh, torso, body, arms, head, nothing like that? Uh, no, just the blade. Okay. Then, uh, cool, we just verify there's no line of sight, so the shooting is not. Uh, we are going to need to take this moment, because it is a big deal, and double check the reading of the leader tactic real quick. The music got hyped when we made up your mind. Yeah, about the moving to the center. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Okay, so right now I know there's heroic intervention. Uh, not oh, gonna... by the way, the gene stealer was my leader. Oh, yeah, cool. That yeah, won't well, uh, that reduces you by a command point. Yep. Yeah, that's a big deal. Well, I know that the heroic intervention can only be done at the end of movement, and the death happened. He was free from combat and he's psychic, mm -hmm. so that's not an option. Here we go. Here's specialist. Oh, and I also need to remember the Justicar is the leader, but the this guy over here is a combat specialist. So that doesn't help me because he's so far away. Uh, use this attack when you pick a leader from your kill team to fight in the fight phase. Choose another friendly model within three inches of them that is eligible to fight. So he's not eligible to fight because he's not engaged. You can fight with each of these models. Yep, see what I mean? Ah. So, so that's unfortunate. Okay, so I'm just checking the lead by example leader specialist uh, level one tactic, and uh, it's not going to be applicable unless he does go first and piles into me uh, to get those dynamics in uh, your mind's eye. So back to the combat. The initiative belongs to me, so that means that my. Well, I still have psychic, right? Oh, you haven't done your psychic. My apologies. Go ahead. I'm going to do iron arm. Okay. Oh, oh you're glad you have that reroll still. Yeah, I'm gonna go down to one. One command point. Yep. Seven. seven. I will try to cancel. And I get a five. I'm gonna command point reroll. And I get a nine. Oh, that hurts. I just denied iron arm psychic might. I very much wanted the plus two strength right now. You're. He's like, oh no, shrivel, shrivel. When do I do the uh, stratagem? If I want to do reroll hits, uh, that is uh, probably that's a great idea too. I want to do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to the core rule book tactics, and this one is called Duel of Honor, and it's done when commanders are fighting commanders. <laughs> so uh, we use this tactic at the start of the fight phase. So that is going to be now. Your commander can only target enemy commanders this phase. That's fine. But you can reroll hit into wound rolls. I could already reroll wounds, but I'm, I'm going to take it. I will also spend a command point to make that happen. I'm out of command points. All right. I'm down to two. Chris is down to zero. We are both rerolling to hit into wound. I will be taking, what is your AP? Neg three or neg six on rolls of six. Shit. I'm going to definitely take the shield stance okay. and take plus one save. Uh, that'll take my two up to a one up, so minus the, yeah, I'll basically be a three up in one on my iron halo going to a three up. Uh, okay, I think that's a safe bet, even though plus one to wound would be nice. I'm only strength four. I'm and only it, tapping the six at the moment. So I'll be fives to wound. I could go to fours to wound, but I'll be re-rolling to wound, so at least, oh, but uh, yeah, re-roll hits. Okay, that's fine. I'll do that. So I'm taking the better save. And we are ready to fight. My commander fights your commander. You charged, or wait, no, I charged. Oh, you charged, yeah, yeah, I forget that, yeah, that's gonna happen first. I'm gonna spend two command points to fight first. Okay. Uh, Cause that makes sense. That's what you gotta do. Yep. And going to my friend here. Now you, you have all the damage as well, that sucks. Oh, you know what? You know what? I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go first. Nah, cause you're not gonna get me to. How much damage do you do? Uh, D three per swing or flat three on rolls of six to wound. So I mean, I could do as much as eighteen wounds. Jeez, how many attacks do you have? Six. Cause I'm considering that I might want to make you uh, the other. There's the fortitude tactic that makes you minus two on the injury table. That could be better. You know, that could save my life much more. It required a six to kill. Feasibly. How many wounds does he have? I think I'd rather, I mean, I definitely want the plus three. I just don't know if I'm- I'm probably not gonna get more than one or two attacks through with your invuln, but I don't know how many wounds you have and I don't know how ready you are to gamble. Yeah, exactly. There's some there's major, <laughs> ma major gamble stuff here. Um, Cause your save is great. Your but, save is better than mine. But like, if I'm fighting first, can I kill you would be the question. I do D3 damage. Keep so in mind I, I have six wounds. If I roll a two, a two on the damage, it'll it'll be a two, right? No, it'll be half, it'll go down to one. Yep. So if I roll a three, it'll be a two. Yep. Fuck. So that's, and you have six wounds. Plus yep. feel no pain. With reroll ones? No, because re, the reroll ones is only against mortal wounds. Because... I think I have more than... Hold well, let's see. I have hard to kill. Let's see. Roll D6. Cause, yeah. Because you got the... Because you don't have a natural feel no pain. You have it from your fortitude ability, right? 
Yes. And, and then the thing that you took that allows you You're to... right. You're, you're completely correct. Right. So... Um, yeah. Just, I'm just considering the chances here. I, my command points, having them for the injury table, I think is a pretty good idea. Let me check the way that the fortitude <laughs> rule reads. Now, luckily, I do have somebody right next to me also for the uh, lookout, sirs. That's true. So I think I'm going to save my command points, let you fight first. Okay. Okay. Yep. So I'll go ahead and swing them. Got my six attacks, re-rolling, hitting on twos. All right, Broodlord, don't let me down. No re Oh, one re-roll necessary. Okay, command point. Well, not a command point. Well, I mean, I used a command point uh, for the re-roll to hit. Yeah, right. Re-roll all your hits. So, so everything hits. <clears throat> all right, this is strength five. I'm toughness five because of my uh, fortitude. So fours with a re-roll. With sixes being special. Ooh. I did already get to naturally re-roll the wound because of my weapon. Oh, okay. So the command point did less on that front. I like the sixes. So the sixes are flat three, neg six. Flat three, neg six. And the fours are neg three, d3s. Okay. So I have all the damage, which is good. And I can, add, with the lookout sir ability, I can take the... Save first and, and then pass it if you need to. Right. And then just as far as... Subtract one from the dice rolls or apply minus two to the injury roll. It takes two for the refusal to fall ability, and I have to do that when you make an injury roll. So I actually get to, I don't have to wait, to, I don't have to do that yet. Yeah, you can see. Okay, so we got two of the big big guys and two of the D3 guys. So these are the big guys? These are the big guys. Okay. And because of your ability, they'd only do two damage because it's half rounded up. Right, it's still enough to kill if I lose both. All right, I fail failed one. one. So making considerations. So that means you would take two wounds, so you get two six up, feel no pains. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and at this, I'm gonna go ahead and do a reroll. Okay. So I'm going down to one command point. Rerolling one of them? Or rerolling the save? Yep. There's my three up. Okay. So both of the big guys are down now. Okay. These D3 ones will be halved after the damage received. Need three up saves. Okay, I fail one. Uh, I'm gonna make a consideration real quick. Okay, let me know if I gotta roll my D3. Now, because my Justicar halves it, or because my commander halves it and he has multiple wounds to, to soak this up, I'm not going to pass this on to my Justicar because okay. he could die in one go. That's true. So go ahead. So it does two, goes down to half, which is one. Yep. Now I get a six up, feel no pain. And I nail it. Very nice. So the commander lands it. And Terrifying. I have one command point left to go. Um, now you still have charging models. Yes. Um... I'm not going to pile into your guy because he could fight. He's not going to... Yeah. It's not a good idea. This Hormagon, he's my combat specialist. Okay. He's got three attacks instead of two. All right. He can reroll ones. Didn't matter. I don't wound. Okay. He's done. Okay. So time for me to fight back. Obviously, I'll be going against your commander. <laughs> and uh, my... I think you should put one attack on the Hormagon. No. Uh, four attacks... Uh, two's to hit. Oh, I got two ones, so be thankful for the re-rolls. All hit. Terrifying. Now, I am uh, strength four, so I'm looking for fives or re-rolls. One so far. Boo. Two. All right, so two wounds go through, AP. and the AP is minus three. Five up involved. Okay. I have no command points. Okay. Make one fail one. Okay, so do three damage. All right. Three damage, goes down to two. Two, yep. uh, two six up field, no pains. Yep. All right. Fail them. So I am down to four wounds. So we now have equal amount of wounds. Very interesting. That was the Nemesis Force Sword swinging zealous, zealously back <laughs> against the Xeno scum. Okay. Well, this is excellent and very cool. I have synapse range. I don't care. Now, um, I have a command point. I, well, there, I don't believe there's a fight again situation. There is actually, the Grey Knights have a... Uh, Isn't it like two command points? Yeah, I think it's like two is the issue. Yeah. Which would be great though. But I'll just do a quick check on my Grey Knight tactics. People might be sad I didn't... Uh, I needed the reroll, guys. I couldn't take that. I needed that three up involved. Uh, so yeah, all my other things cost... Uh, Two besides cyborg ammunition, so I'm. So for those viewers, 
this was a nail biting moment, but we basically, I mean, I got hurt a little bit. Losing the jeans stealer sucked, but um, overall, not a lot happened. Yeah. We, I mean, losing the jeans stealer hurt. George we, came out on top. You know, having having double fortitude commanders going against each other head to head, you can kind of expect a little bit of uh, just punching each other in the face brutally. So end of this turn, we're both going up one point. Oh, so uh, I now, think, right? is the center controlled by me? Oh, actually, I suppose it is because it's by models, isn't it? Yeah, it's two inches from the center, and due to your placement being on the outer oh, skirts like that, that was now, dumb of me. and you could have like been more centralized or even fought from there too, you know? Yeah, you're completely right. I completely just gave that one away. Um, um, so the center hmm. actually is held by my models in that case. Now I'm not terrible uh, for the sake of the best game possible. Like I don't mind if there's a oh no 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 no. Um, I can, I can. There's plenty. Of, the good thing about kill teams is you equally. Uh, well, yeah, it's. It, you've already scored. Uh, it's just going to make the game closer. So at this point, three points, four points. Well, at end of combat, we can pile in, right? Well, at the, at, after you, you, you would, kill something. You could have consolidated yeah. after you fought Swung. with each one of those. Yeah. So I can still correct that in the following turn. Yes, yes. Yeah. So at this moment, um, I'll get four points. To my one. To your one. So you were at five, so you're at six. I was at two, and now I'm at six. Mm -hmm. So basically, it's a tie game. So going into turn three now, it's time for the initiative. I got a 10. It's a good situation. And not a 10. All right, so the Grey Knights will go first. You do have an opportunity to do a decisive move if you had any desire to. It would just let allow this guy to move before anyone else nah, does. Yeah, you right. only get one command point this time anyways with the dead commander. I'm going up to three command points. We're only spending one last round. I definitely want to use. How you want to spend one last round? Or, oh, you uh, had one left yeah, over. I had last one round. left over. Yeah. I need to absolutely save uh, for honor of the chapter so that I can fight twice in the fight phase. That's going to be incredibly important. So I'm going to have my Justicar charge into this combat. Okay. And a three is pretty lightweight. I mean, obviously, I'm right next to that guy, but. Uh, you know, if I don't make it into your uh, Broodlord, he could fall back and leave that combat, you know, remaining engaged. Mm -hmm. I don't like a three, but I don't want to do a reroll for that. Screw it, though. Um, so if there is an opportunity to run away from that if you want to be a scaredy pants. Uh, now I'm going to um, charge with my Halberd as well into both. Okay. And I make a big 12. Got he's, that. Uh, he's combat specialist, just hungry. Uh, and I'm actually going to make that think twice as what we just saw experience here. So there's 9, 10, 11. And I'll just be engaged with this guy cool. from up here. Okay, so that is the Grey Knight movement onto the... Tyranids movement? Yeah, Tyranids. Um, I'm going to... I'm gonna try to charge you here. Cool. The armor gaunt. I get a seven. Uh, Sheety measure. Let's see. Five would get me here. Then two would get me right up top. I don't think I would still be within range of you though. No. So fail charge. Um, I'm not gonna. Well, actually, I could still get in range of the objective though. Yeah, with that's that charge. Totally a good thing. Yeah, actually, I'll definitely do that. Um, so, closest line distance, I guess, technically would be here. That's fine for me, yeah. Um, so, you got another uh, model engaged with the objective, that's good. Um, I'm going to fall back with this Hormagomp. Uh, he can't because he can't. he's been charged this turn. Oh, because he's been charged, yeah, that's, that's right. Yeah, that's why I was uh, that's talking right. about that dynamic. That's right. Um, so, he's good. Um, that's all my movement. So, I'm done. Okay. Psychic phase next? We're into the psychic phase. You go first. Yeah, um, this time I'm gonna give I'm gonna give my commander plus one to wound. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna cast uh, Iron Helm or whatever it was, or Hammerhand. Hammerhand. Yeah. Goes off with a six. Needs a five. Try to cancel. Oh, it actually oh, synapse it's minus or, one. Uh, yeah, Shadow of the Ward. I just thought about that myself. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and re-roll. I better really save re-rolls. Fine. See if you can cancel. Canceled. Yep, canceled. All right, so your power. I get it on a nine. Try to cancel. I get an eight. Okay. Uh, so you are toughness eight now. 
Yes. And, I am plus and strength four. seven. And strength seven. That's scary. Okay. Well, we got an interesting situation there. Well, we are moving into the uh, shooting phase. Yep. And there is no pistols. I got no guns. Emphasis store, storm bolter, grenades. Yeah. So your chargers go first. <sighs> yep. So we will. Now, if the leader goes, I can immediately pick someone else, which would allow me to, but I have the initiative anyways. You don't have command points to override. Correct. So I'm gonna get to go with everything first, no matter what. Start of the fight phase, I'll go ahead and do reroll hit and wound with my last command point. I will also do reroll hits to wounds. I'm glad that I saved my command point for that purpose alone. So uh, I'm getting, my stance that I'm gonna take is, uh, your toughness eight right now, mm -hmm. I'm gonna get half to, and I get to reroll wounds, but I, I wanna get to fours. Ah, no. Oh yeah, this is just my fighter stance. So I'm gonna do plus one. Oh, I already don't even have plus one because I filled my psychic power. Yep. So yeah, I'm gonna have to take the plus one to win. Oh, you have five or three rolls? Five or three rolls. All right. So now we are going to the combat and we'll start with the Justicar. Okay. Uh, the Justicar has the Nemesis, uh, the warding staff that is. Nemesis warding staff. Gorgeous profile here. I will only have two attacks. Okay. One of the threes to hit. Ooh. One hit. Yep. And T8. Uh wood. I am strength six, so one wound. Oh, you're strength six on him. Yeah, that with his warding staff. Uh minus one. Alright. Make my invuln. Okay. Uh, we will go to the com uh, the Halberd next which he's combat specialist. I believe he'll have be two attacks as well. Indeed. Uh, so threes, two hits, and he is Eight. strength five, so fives. One wound. Uh, minus two. Five up. Okay. Kill it. D3 damage. Get two, so get on one. Six, Six up, up. on a pain. Ooh, nails it. Not good so far. So we'll go to the big daddy himself, the commander. Uh, four attacks for my buddy here with plus one to wound. Rerolling hits. Yep, rerolling hits, so twos. All right. And fives to, re -roll. Fives to wound, because he's using the nemesis sword. No, no wounds yet. There's two. All right, so five up in bones. Ooh, Fail both. Okay, so these are uh, D3 damages. So if you, you uh, would have to roll threes for both of them. Yeah. I get only, uh, so that becomes so three a one total. and that's a one. Yeah. Yeah, so just two. Six up, feel no pains. Don't okay. make either. So, Down to two wounds. So now I will spend two command points for honor thy chapter and fight a second time immediately. And I will do that again. Two is where you're going to hit. Okay, and then looking for fives re-rolling. No fives. There's one. Okay, and then D3. Only one. Will not kill him. Will hurt him though. Okay, he's down to one wound left, but still not even on the injury table has been taking a flesh wound. All right, my turn to swing? Yeah. Rude Lord's going. Um, I guess it doesn't matter. I could go with the Hormagon first. You could, you know, by killing the leader. Oh, yeah, of course you want the Yeah, yeah I'm going to go with the Hormagon first. He's going to go at your one dude over here. Yeah. You're rolling ones here because I can. Uh, toughness four. Yeah. Fives. One wound. Three of armor. Good. All right. So I'm splitting my attacks with my leader. Four going at your commander and one at each of your guys. Cool. So the Halberd guy. Hits, and it will, it definitely wounds. Um, so yeah. neg three, D three. Um, now with the other, the other non-commander, re-roll to hit, fails. Oh, too bad. And the ones at your commander, all of those hit. Uh, toughness four or five on your commander? Uh, five. Five, three for the re-roll. Um, so three neg threes and one uh, neg six fixed three. Now this is a little weird, but uh, just so that people don't get upset, 
uh, right. the duel of honor tactic. It allows you can only. Oh, fight. I have to only fight your leader. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so um, that wound goes to the yeah. sure. So all um, the wounds have been allocated now commander. to this commander. Good point. Uh, per the duel of honor tactic. So here's what I have to say. This is a big baddie wound, right? Yep. This big six. Flat three, neg six. Yeah, and these are the D3s. Neg three D3s. So we'll start with the gross one. Need a four up in Vuln because I did. I took plus one to wound. And I don't. So that three it's damage three becomes down two. two. Yeah. Six up field, no pains. Two six up field. Ooh, Saves one, six. one. So I take one. I'm down to three wounds. Okay. And now here's the rest of those D3 damages. Need fours. Uh, what's the AP on these, though? Neg three. Neg three, and I'm a two up save, so you have fours. So I save two of them, so you got two D3 damages. So, three to two. So this becomes a one and this becomes a two. So I have three total. To, so this could kill me if I don't make a six or it could at least get me to zero wounds. Mm -hmm. uh, too bad I'm out of command points for lookout sirs. So need a six here. Ooh, mm. so I only took two wounds total. Nasty. Don't like that. That was gross. Don't like that. Okay. So with that. Um, that leaves me in a horrible position. Actually, I am only because you're gonna have command points to interrupt next turn, right? You are going to win this game. I think so too. Um, um, because I can't fall back and charge or anything like that. Yeah, no, no specialties there. Now I have two on the objective still. Unfortunately, you only have one. Uh, is that agreed? Um, I don't shit. think I, I should have piled him in. I yeah, forgot. Do you want to fix that in some um, shape or form? I could have also piled in to stop you from doing such a thing. Um, but I didn't do that. You're so yeah. I mean, I also swung at him. What I would have thought to do is pile in here and swing at him, but yeah, I didn't do that. Um, so it's okay. So we're just slapping our hands for lazy moves yep. there. Um, unfortunately, I will score that with that. So there is uh, three points there, zero points there. So yep. it goes nine to six, and we're moving into turn four. All right. All right. So keeping the camera where it is. Here's the initiative for the Grey Knights. Getting an eight. And an eight, re-rolling. Grey Knights, 10. 10. It's a, oh, the suspense. Grey Knights, five. I'm not feeling the suspense just because that command point's gonna win you the game. Oh, four. Four. Ooh, okay. Yeah, getting that leader early was a big deal. Um, okay, so now we're gonna mm. go with the movement here. The very odd thing, though, is that literally, um, if we fell back from this combat, you wouldn't be able to charge again, right? Mm -hmm. And I obviously be very non-thematic to do that, mm -hmm. but but being that I, I, we could have like a psychic off, I could fall back to surround the objective, try to kill one of your- I mean, I only have one wound, so like the psychic idea isn't bad for you. Right, it could easily fail though. I'm more likely to, I've been doing well in combat, yeah. plus I have the initiative. Um, so there's no reason to do anything like that. I'll simply just stay as I am and now, but the problem is though, if I stay like I am, I can fall back. You could fall back, and you could um, overwhelm the objective because this guy is so far away. So that that potentially give you the point mm -hmm. if if I don't, and you don't want to fight, you know, at this point. Mm -hmm. So actually, I might need to take the lead on that situation. Very interesting. Oh, you know what else is a trip is that heroic intervention. You don't have to necessarily have been charged or anything. Yeah, no, it's just to be within you three just, at the end of the movement phase. into something. So if we are, if I surround the objective now. And just make sure that my leader would be within three, then it would be difficult to avoid getting in combat. Yeah, like I could still get to fight you again mm -hmm. just because you end up. That's pretty cool. So just, uh, that's what I'm going to do actually. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think about all those dynamics. I'm going to fall back to the objective. And this is my leader, my commander is going to remain engaged, knowing that you can fall back. So I don't want to just leave you there because then you, yeah, I could just leave you there, same difference. So yeah, I'll leave my commander there to fight. And I'm just basically needed to fall back him to make sure I had three on the objective. Mm -hmm. That was the primary situation. Uh, satisfied. Now you can do what you'd like. So he's still in combat? Yeah, uh, yep, those are both still in combat. I All just right. needed to move my leader to get on the objective. I'm, um... Uh... 
Uh, I can't pile him in the movement phase. I would have to do that in the combat. Yeah. So he's gonna charge you here? Question mark. Yeah. Sensible. I believe I have it. Cause yeah. He's moving up. Like one, two. Yeah, that's good. One. Yeah. You were right there. Roar. He's gonna fall if I do that. Oh, that's cool stuff. All right. Um. So he's a charger, he has initiative. Um, you got first turn order, so you get to dictate the swing first. Uh, psychic. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, no, I was just thinking to myself oh, yeah, 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 in right. terms of if I want to fall back or not. Right. Because um, right now you could contest it as long as he doesn't die. If you were to just fall back to it. Yeah, that's a consideration and leave him engaged there. And the funny thing is, even with fallback, you could like fall back and then On hero side. heroic intervene into my guy. That's a good point. Which is funny. I do have one command point. Yeah. So you, you could, that's a way to f actually fall back and then get back, that's interesting. You can use that combo to fall back and charge kind of in a sense. But it's not gonna get me the objective this turn and like if I don't get the objective, then the game is a wash. Well, you would still, from here to here, you would still be fighting and objective. Plus, plus yeah. if you kill that guy, you can be more bodies on the objective. That's true. And he's just the, he's the combat specialist with two attacks, but he's not the commander. That's true. Mm, I feel like it's the only smart play in this situation. On another token, though, these are worth two points. Because, I mean, this is only worth three. If you could, could fall back to both those locations, that's four points. That's you actually true. would outscore me. That's pretty interesting. I didn't even think about that. I didn't either, honestly. I got so bloodshed in the middle. Yeah. So what we're talking about now, friends, is that the outer objectives, these two that are closest to him, because you have a pretty great movement anyways, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, so what's the movement on this guy? Eight. Eight, so bam. You're going to go there and there, and then that's four points. Um. And I'll only be able to fight with this guy. This is the only combat that will occur. It's actually a great move. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fall back here. Okay. I'm gonna fall back here. That's gambling. It is gambling, but I want some excitement in this game. I don't wanna just like fall back, possibly die to some shooting. And uh Okay. Alright, this is what we're doing. Okay, no problem. This will definitely be a more uh interesting game. Heroic way to, to try to take a victory. Because I mean we don't know if it goes on to five or whatever. That's true, we don't. I will hunt you down if you try to run into those objectives. <laughs> the Emperor wouldn't let the game in now. All right. Uh, all right, fine. So, so end of go. movement. Yeah. Um, I have to do the stratagem thing. Uh, right? Well, it's, uh, yes. So, yes. using my only command point. And you're piling in. Cool. Pile in. Yeah. yeah. Roar. He's up there. Yeah, that's cool, too. <laughs> all right, so we have, a, uh, we have a fight on our hands, as well as him uh, being on an objective in the corner. Now, one thing that does happen, though, is that I'm going to have shooting access. Mm-hmm. Uh, which is a decent situation. So, in the psychic phase, I am going to try to smite... Oh, and he has a flesh wound. Okay, cool. I will side bolt the flesh wounded model there. Actually, there's... Well, I, I think you would tactically choose to put him closer than that guy. Yeah. Right? So, I will... That, ha that was part of my reasoning in getting him around. Yeah, so I'm going to have to go towards that fellow. And uh, I'm going to face my foes. The darkness and the night. The terror, <laughs> but thou shalt know no fear. <laughs> um, so time uh, five, which becomes a four. I do not uh, want to spend a command point because then I won't be able to fight twice. Thinking that's gonna fail, but if I reroll, you could easily deny still as well. It's true. That negative one will still be there. <sighs> Fighting twice is nice too. Fighting twice is gross. Yeah. Not to mention that right now, may, I might need to, uh, the better thing to spend these command points on might be to buff that guy's uh, save. But I was supposed to do that before the battle round began, so. Oh, decisions, decisions. This is difficult. You can do that if you still want to. For no, no, no. This is difficult. What you doing um, with that five? Are I'm going gonna... to take the chance. I'm going to reroll it. Oh, man. Yeah. Eight. So seven. seven. Shit. <laughs> Yay! Six goes off. All right, so I need a three to kill. 
Oh. Two. Free roll? I can't. I already did one in the psychic phase. Two flesh wounds. Yeah. All right, go ahead, uh, you're psychic. Damn. <laughs> hmm. That's serious business. Or iron on. Perils. Perils. That could kill yeah, me. Could, it could also suck us all into the warp, too. You could kill everyone there in that situation. I don't have any command points. This is horrible. <laughs> That's literally the only thing I didn't want to happen. Well, luckily, you got to feel no pain. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. That's awful. Oh, my God. All right. Um, don't worry. I'm getting perils out as we speak. Don't threat. Uh, I got to roll a D3 for how much wounds I take, I think. Pretty much. Yeah, here we go. So, yeah, the suffers D3 mortal wounds, please. And of course, <laughs> I roll three. Well, uh, now we just need to. Do, uh, yeah, those sixes are, with a reroll. Because they're individual wounds, they don't get rounded down. Yeah. Either. So, yeah, you get three sixes with reroll once. Okay, so that's two wounds. That kills them. Yep, so now it's the injury table, and it's only a single roll, though. You just murdered yourself. <laughs> okay. Well, no, it gets really bad now. If the Psyker is taken out of action by the Perils of Warp, the power they were attempting to manifest automatically fails, and each model within three inches immediately suffers Everybody. three more wounds. Uh, that box is less than three inches long. Oh, you were 100% within. Everyone there <laughs> is not potentially about to get sucked into the warp, dude. Um, you couldn't have fucking, dude, I, you could kill everyone. Because uh, my commander is only on two wounds. So Damn it. I can't believe this. This could be hilarious. <laughs> this could be, this could be really... You couldn't have planned that. This, this could be really ironic and tragic and just... So uh, we are about to... The, the Broodlord just got ripped out of reality. Yeah, his, his, his not using the warp brought the warp. Um, and he is now rending reality asunder with his corpse. Yeah, this is a bad scene. I don't know how the uh, dice cam got all froggy all of a sudden, but the uh, what's about to go down is everybody within three... Is gonna suffer. Dice came like crazy, friends. I don't know why. The warp. Yeah, we had fucking perils and everything went to shit. Let me fix it real quick. By All the right. way, George, I did plan this. Oh yeah. It's a Zeech Broodlord. Yeah. It's a pretty nutty plan, dude. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Fixing dice cams for y'all here, live and on, on stream, blam. I just don't want the Hormigant to die. Yeah, I think everything's about to die, actually. So do your D3, okay, so. so do I roll one D3 for everything? That's always the question, right? So it says, uh, and each model within three inches immediately suffers D3 mortal wounds. I say let's roll the wounds and they all suffer that amount. Yep. And big, does this count as single source or this? Um, these are all single damages, yeah, that are not halved. Big three. Everyone within three inches just took three. Dead. So injury oh, table is going to happen. So uh, that's going to put everyone at zero wounds. That is hilarious. I can't believe that went down. That is like a story to be told that no one will believe. <laughs> Only the perfect combination of instances could go down. There, we measured three inches between that crate. It's only a two-inch crate, and his base is large. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, because you're causing the death, you're going to roll on all of these injury tables, so I don't get any re-rolls to save my life or anything either. So let's start with Do you have any your... six-up feeling of pain against mortals? Uh, we just have a natural six-up feeling of pain in any wounds we take. Yeah. You know, but so I just don't get to re-roll ones on it. So, uh, so don't you roll that before um, I roll the injury table? Yes, yes. You want to go ahead. Well, some of these guys don't have feel no pain. Yeah, I don't have any. Right. Uh, do you want to go ahead and roll injury on your gaunt there? Anything but a one. All right, so he dies. <laughs> Splatter. <laughs> Rip through reality. There's a massive hole that just punched through here. And Splatter. now you can go ahead and roll for my uh, combat specialist. And he just takes a flesh wound. <sighs> All right, and now you can roll for my commander. Flesh um, wound. Dang, not good. Flesh wound again. And then you can roll for my Justicar, the leader. Okay, and he gets ripped out of reality. Okay, uh, I get a six up feeling of pain for my leader. Oh, um, there was two, two, three damage. Yep. 
My leader definitely was reduced to zero, okay. So that was amazing. These two took flesh wounds and I remained on the objective and that is the, for, there's still one fellow left for the Tyranids, but that is the game, friends. Absolutely. That was insanity. I yeah. was hoping for everything to die, but you know, I mean, Not I can't complain. Way. I wanted something that's cinematic to happen. That's why I didn't just run for the objectives, which was a safe bet in case the game ended. James got to see that amazing situation. That was just wild. I wish that we need a really good uh, psychic uh, apparels effect because that needs like some like sort a of vortex and an explosion. Sort of, yeah, we need some sort of crazy something there. But that was bonkers. I love having uh, crazy games like that. We'll do a quick uh, round up here, spin up into the spot there, there, Chris. Head uh, on over. So um, yeah, what do you think of Commander in general? The extra rules were pretty interesting, yeah. Yeah, I think they bring something very interesting to the game. Um, overall, I uh, I mean the Broodlord. Having these bigger players with aura rules, I mean, that's one of the things in 40k that people seem to really like, you know, like the building tricks and synergy and combos. And when you add these more complex characters to the game, I feel like that's what it brings to kill teams a little bit more. Yeah. Um, so I'm a fan of that. Um, it reminds me of like when we had indexes when 8th edition first dropped and then getting a codex and you got all these strats and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, I can kind of see that. It, it just feels like you have the game that you didn't have the full picture of yet. Yeah, I can see that. You know, um, that and I certainly like, uh, I mean the game was fun, uh, it was crazy. Uh, the only thing, the only complaint I have is just where unfamiliarity, like Kicking myself on turn two, where I just moved off that objective. Mm -hmm. Other than that, yeah. Um, I, dude. I mean, your commander was doing stuff. Mine was doing stuff. Yeah. Uh, I mean, your guy was tanking stuff. Yeah. Which I was like, oh, dude, I'm just gonna rip him to pieces. And then it was just like, oh, he just <laughs> didn't <laughs> die. Dude, dude, like what? Yeah. Damn it. Um, yeah. Uh, the command points played a big role. Um, you, you having that bonus D3 to start off with, even though it was only one. Um, you were able to, I mean, there was one turn you cycled through like three. It was the, um, yeah, because I stacked them into the second round and it gave yeah. me that option to fight twice. And that was big. I yeah. mean, I, that that's where I survived tides. with one wound. Um, one thing that I'm thinking with that is that I have an ability to swing twice as well. Mm -hmm. um, that, I mean, with six attacks on a Broodlord, especially if I don't do the uh, challenge yeah. thing. I mean, in a combat where I'm engaged with three things, I could be like, oh, Three attacks, three attacks, six attacks. Yeah, you can rip and stuff just up. rip something to shreds. Yeah, it's fun taking the elite uh, baddie commander, though. I enjoy it. I agree. Um, but yeah, I think it's crucial to when you get towards those ends to be able to have those command points to do the minus twos. Yeah, to certainly. The injury table, you know? I, I, I really, really agree. Um, especially because, like, I mean, even there with the explosion, you know, the minus two to the injury table could have been really. Uh, yeah. I, mean, I don't know that you could use it right then. Oh, um, uh, yeah. Uh, maybe. Yeah, I didn't have the command points too. Yeah, but right. in a situation right. like like right. contingency, yeah. like where like you know where having it's when you roll on the injury roll. Yeah. So it's pretty so literally serious. like yeah. on an explosion like that where where you don't plan for it, it could literally make or break the game. Yeah. No, that was wild and crazy. Uh, did never expected the double ones with no command points left. Yeah, I uh, I <laughs> certainly <laughs> oh, clap. wasn't either. Yeah. Um, I saw the double ones and I was very much like, that just happened. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that took us down. Well, uh, awesome stuff, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, you know, we cranked out Fortitude and check that out. If you were going to take an elite um, commander list with a three model count, would you, what kind of other specialisms would you take for the Tyranids or the Grey Knights? Bring Brood Lords. <laughs> that is my post chapter approved thought. Kill teams, commanders, regular 40k, run brood lords. They're good. They look sweet too. Uh, yeah, that toughness six going to toughness eight with iron arm is uh, disgusting. <laughs> Isn't it? Uh, um, but yeah, we'd love to hear from you as far as your favorite combos and specialisms. I've been a huge fan of the specialist specialism, and this is my first time trying out fortitude and buffing up a big commander. Uh, I know that the logistics level three specialist uh, coming from one of our users and Grim Nine was his uh, tag, tag name in our last Twitch. He was telling us about the level three logistics specialist on the Death Guard commander We're getting a 15 inch flamer. That's disgusting. Ooh. Yeah, and it's minus three damage. Minus three AP, three damage. It's terrible. It gets entire board coverage. It's the most scary thing ever. I'm definitely finding that commander can put a lot more thrill and, and fear of uh, particular models. But yeah, guys, we'll uh, probably see you again here shortly. You guys keep taking fun seriously, and thanks for watching. Thank you. Catch us live on Twitch if you're seeing us on YouTube. See you later.